what's up fit chicks and fit beauties it's your girl d done elizabeth and here we are with another what i eat in a day at 185 grams of protein y'all probably like guy dang that much protein i'm gonna show y'all so most importantly you want to make sure that you are getting in lean sources of protein so i'm gonna show y'all basically what i do turkey bacon egg whites i add an egg for the flavor and for the fat boneless chicken thighs i am not a fan of chicken breasts i eat them occasionally because they just don't give me the juice and the flavor that i need like the chicken thighs do and extra lean ground beef i'm not a fan of ground turkey like the only time i eat ground turkey is when i'm putting it in my chili but like to just to cook it and put it with some rice not my thing but extra lean ground turkey if you're a fan of ground turkey that literally every four ounces gives you 26 grams of protein you got to get the extra lean kind of extra extra lean that gives you 26 grams of protein so really just figuring out what you could put in to make sure that you hit that protein goal because protein is going to be essential if your goal is to drop body fat and build muscle do not say i didn't tell you and if you don't know how much protein you should be eating daily make sure you click down in the link below i have a flash sale going on for all my programs that means nutrition plans workout plans in person if you're located in houston i have sales for my group training and online training if you're not located in houston and you want to train with your girl and get right and get tight but with all that being said let's get into it okay all right y'all so if you do not know ehp labs black friday sale is now live so i'm about to get ready to cook my breakfast so i started off with a three mile walk this morning i've been doing an hour of quality y'all because your girl being pumped up now next week will be the week before my menstrual cycle so i already know that my energy levels is going to go down 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 so right now i'm feeling good so i'm taking advantage of it but next week we're going to scale back on the cardio i'll probably still do an hour but it's going to just be walks very something stuff stuff that's very low intensity and i've really been trying to dive more into planning my workouts around my menstrual so that my body is not under so much stress so before i went on my walk y'all already know i started off with two scoops of oxy shred this is the proton plasma flavor y'all oxy shred has so many amazing benefits like i can go on and on about why you need oxy shred oxy shred is a fat burner but i've taken it as a pre-workout it increases your metabolism your energy and your endurance it could curb your appetite because y'all right now i done walked three miles and i am not hungry i have not eaten anything i have not eaten excuse my grammar I'm not eating anything yet, and I'm really not hungry, but I'm going to eat. Like, you know your girl going to eat. But it also has a carnitine in it, which helps convert your fat into energy. So it literally has all the benefits that you need if your goal is fat loss, if your goal is cutting, if your goal is to keep as much muscle as possible while chopping it down, trying to get slim and trim. Oxy Shred is your go-to. It's non-jittery. The flavor is out of this world like the proton plasma has been my favorite y'all know they have the juicy watermelon that's another one of my favorite gummy snake and voodoo those are my top ones if you're a person that likes more fruity stuff they have so many different flavors they have the rainbow candy that one was good as well it tastes like skittles and yeah so another thing that i also take like on my lifting days i'll do two scoops of oxy shred y'all a lot of caffeine don't judge me and then i'll do one scoop of pride which is Oh, this is the pre-workout so one thing i like about pride is like it's definitely a clean burst of energy like it's not like the one thing that i love about ehp labs in their ooh, in their products is that it does not make me itch like i don't want to be somewhere scratching like having to hurry up and get ready to get into my workout before it's time to get into my workout you know and then the other two things that i take daily as a staple is my glutamine this is for good health making sure that your bowels are moving if you eating a lot of protein you need something to speed it up and it's really really good to help with the bloating along with 
your oxygreens. Oxygreens and L-glutamine is good for bloating. If you have having digestive issues, if you need something to help your immune system just keep you purified, you know, this is the go-to duo that you need. And then creatine. If you look lifting heavy, if you're looking to grow, build more muscle, and you need that assistance, this helps with your energy and endurance. It pushes the water to your muscles so that you do are able to build those muscles as well. And it's definitely good for performance in the gym, like hands down. So EHP Lab does have a new product. All right. So along with the Oxy Greens, EHP Labs came out with the Oxy Reds. I think I might have to start cheating on my greens. So the Oxy Reds is good for vitality, energy, it has antioxidants, and it's good for blood flow. Everybody know that reds, like especially like beetroot, is used as a natural endurance superfood. Like my cousin used to play football and he would tell me all the time that they always give them beet juice before their games before for the energy so oxy reds includes all of those it includes beetroot powder organic carry powder dragon fruit powder pomegranate strawberry juice raspberry fruit cranberry juice everything that you need and it's really big on digestion and good health so we're going to be trying it today like they didn't have to write all that on the box to let me know that it's this really finna give what it's supposed to give. So we're about to try this out and make sure y'all know that the Black Friday sale is on. Like, if you interested in any of these products, now is the time for you to go get you some, girl, okay? So we're about to try this right now. I'm finna pull it up and then we're gonna try it out. Alright y'all, so this is in the flavor Raspberry Refresh, so let's try it out. And y'all know I have the BCAAs in that flavor as well, so I already know the vibe. So let's see what it's giving, you know. Oh my God. Y'all, it's super duper sweet, like so sweet. I'm trying to see what it reminds me of raspberry duh, duh. but no y'all it's so sweet i need to add more water to it so it said I only use like 12 ounces of water but <clears throat> i can see this definitely being used as a natural pre-workout like if you a person that don't take pre-workout or you're a person that don't really like caffeine i feel like this can be used as a natural booster like of your morning and before your workout like i need this much water in it and it's still, oh, y'all. They, they done did something with that. Hold on now, EHP. Y'all done did something now. Oh, my God. Mmm, 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 mmm. All right, y'all. So, now it's time to cook breakfast. So, for breakfast, we're going to be doing an English muffin, some turkey bacon, and some eggs. It is 12 19, y'all, and I'm just now eating breakfast. So I've been trying to eat them in fasting. Some days I do it, some days I don't, just to try to see if my body reacts to it. Yesterday I did it, and my body didn't react much, but we're going to do it again today to see if my body reacts again. And y'all, one thing that I can say is, y'all, I'm so proud of myself. Like, I'm so, so proud of myself because. In November, when November started, I said, okay, I'm a lot, I'm I'm a really focus on my nutrition and focus on my workouts. I'm not gonna worry about the scale. If the scale moves, it moves. If it don't, it don't, I'm still gonna show up and do the, the right thing. So y'all, it's November 15, and for 15 days, I've literally been sticking to the plan. The scale has moved a tad bit, but one thing that I'm proud of myself is sometimes when I start, I like look at the scale, and if the scale gets too discouraging, I just be like, 
forget it. I'm finna go wild out. But I have not wilded out. Next week is Thanksgiving and I do plan to eat good, but I'm not going to wild out. Like, I really just been focusing on more of being aware, more like just paying attention to my body and how I feel. If I'm hungry, are you hungry or do you just want to eat some stuff up? And I've been feeling so great. Like, the performance in the gym has been 10 out of 10. But let me hurry up and make this breakfast and drink my reds before I get real, real hungry. Then, then, then we might go crazy, okay? So let's get into it. you guys so for the turkey bacon brand i've been using it's by the hb naturals and it's the uncured turkey bacon y'all at first i did not like turkey bacon but you have to get the uncured version and so for one slice it's 50 calories and you get six grams of protein so i'm gonna be doing three pieces of this because when i fry hard y'all it be so good okay yes ma'am let's put that on skip it right now now it's time for meal number two so after i finish cooking this if you cannot tell by now breakfast is my favorite food like i could eat breakfast all day but unfortunately it whites don't get the job completely done so i like for my first two meals to be breakfast see so the first one i had the english muffin and the eggs and now we're about to have some waffle and eggs i like to push my carbs most of the bulk of my cars before my workout so like i'm about to do some serious working out this evening we're about to do our 5k training and we're going to be doing some dance cardio but i have two classes to teach so that's about like three hours worth of exercising so i like to put all my cars before so i can load that up before it's time and then my last two meals are going to be like soul food vibes i got like some chicken and rice and then some ground beef and rice so like you know a little light bite but the carbs are super duper low in those meals because i like to you know i need my carbs for my breakfast foods like my breads my waffles my syrup it just completes today so we're about to make that right now and i'm gonna show y'all when i finish
extra lean ground beef with some jasmine rice, bell peppers, and onions. And I use half of honey mustard sauce from Chick-fil-A and the other half barbecue sauce. I usually like the honey roasted barbecue, but I ain't been in Chick-fil-A to get some more. But y'all, yeah, this is giving Salisbury steak. All right, meal number three. All right, guys, so since I ate all my carbs earlier, we're going to be finishing off the day with some chicken thighs. Well, one chicken thigh, eight ounces, air fried to perfection. And this is 44 grams of protein, and that's going to be it for today. 185 grams of protein on the dot, y'all. Don't play. Uh, so, workouts today wore me out. I'm about to eat this chicken, and your girl is about to lay it down. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And with that being said, y'all already know the drill. I'm looking like a big head right now. Come back and mess with your girl. Peace out.